Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. I am coming to you live from Needham High School in Needham, Massachusetts, here to bring you this round of 16 playoff contest as part of the 2023 MIAA Division I Girls Volleyball State Tournament. Today's contest pits the hosting fifth-seeded Needham High Rockets against the visiting 12th-seeded Brookline High Warriors. Got a little over eight minutes on the pregame clock here as these two Bay State Conference rivals getting ready to face off for a chance to advance to the state quarterfinals if they can secure the win today. Both teams swept their way into the round of 16 here. Needham took on uh, Needham as the fifth seed, coming off a 14 and three regular season. Hosted number 28 Central Catholic in the round of 32, and beat them in three straight uh, in straight sets, three to nothing. Brookline, after a 13 and seven regular season earning them the 12th seed in the tournament. Defeated number 21, Chumsford, last Thursday at home, three sets to none with set scores of 25 to nine, 25 to 22, and 25 to 12. So both teams, you know, got through the round of 32 relatively unscathed. But as we weed out, you know, some of the lower ranked teams, the competition is only going to get tighter. We just saw Brookline finish their warm-ups in their white jerseys with dark blue jersey numbers. Needham with sort of, our, of uh, the reverse color scheme here. They're in the dark blue jerseys with white jersey numbers and yellow outlines. And that's a good cue to start us off on the rosters. Let's start off by reading through the roster for the hosting fifth-seeded Needham High Rockets. Going in order of jersey number for Needham, first off we have a senior libero and defensive specialist, number one, Izzy Streeper. Next we have a junior defensive specialist, number two, Ceci Scala. A junior middle blocker, number three, Emma Nolfi. A senior middle blocker, number four, Madison Demir Fernandez. A junior defensive specialist, number seven, Kelsey Pittman. A junior outside hitter and middle blocker, number 10, Lisa O'Leary. A, uh, a junior outside hitter, number 11, Alex Sikora. A sophomore setter, number 12, Bella Lee. A sophomore right side hitter, number 13, Sadie Stance. A senior middle blocker, number 15, Claire Smith. A senior outside hitter, number 16, Samantha Tam. A senior middle blocker, number 18, Katie Mercer. A junior defensive specialist, number 19, Mary Carr. A senior outside hitter, number 20, Rachel Doherty. A sophomore setter, number 21, Lizzie Tam. A senior libero and defensive specialist, Number 23, Kayla Smith. And a junior outside hitter, number 37, Gray Whalen. Head coach of the Needham High girls volleyball team is Courtney Chaloff. So that is the roster for the home team today, the number five Needham Rockets. Now, as we got about Four, uh, four minutes and 40 seconds left on the pregame clock. Let's take a look at the visitors on the scoreboard today. The 12th seeded Brookline High Warriors. Going in order of jersey number again. First off, we have a sophomore libero and defensive specialist. She's listed as number one on the roster, but she wears the number 31 libero jersey, Bella Bacon. Next up, we have a sophomore outside hitter and defensive specialist, number two, Emily Ferdinand. A freshman outside hitter and defensive specialist, number three, Noga Neve. 
A sophomore defensive specialist and libero, number four, Cora Nobrega. A freshman right side hitter, number five, Molly Tipton. A sophomore setter, number eight, Alexa Vu. A sophomore defensive specialist and libero, number nine, Maya Nock. A junior middle blocker, number 10, Serena Oyama. A senior outside hitter, defensive specialist, and co-captain, number 11, Sophie Hester. A freshman setter, number 12, Nora Mullen. A senior middle blocker and co-captain, number 14, Annika Epstein. A sophomore middle blocker, number 16, Stasia Budnick. A senior setter and co-captain, number 17, Charlotte Mullen. A sophomore outside hitter, number 18, Viviana McDonald. A junior setter, number 21, Isabella Wong. And a junior right side hitter, number 22, Laurel Zaka. Head coach of the Brookline High girls volleyball team is Caitlin Soboleski. So that is the roster for the two teams coming in today. Uh, remember, as always, if you notice me uh, flubbing the pronunciation of anyone's names, either Brookline or Needham's side, uh, I encourage you to correct me in the live chat. And of course, if you simply want to say, go Brookline or go Needham, or if you want to shout out uh, your favorite player, or maybe you want to let us know where you're tuning in from, that can always be fun with these online streams that can be watched all over the world. Or if you notice any technical difficulties with the stream, you know, any reason at all you feel the need to speak up in the live chat, I encourage you to do so. And of course, if you end up enjoying this live stream, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams. We're a little over a minute away as Brookline and Needham getting ready to soon start this round of 16 contest as part of the MIAA Division I state tournament. Let's look over the stats really quick for Brookline from their round of 32 contest last Thursday against Chumsford. These are all unofficial stats that I kept myself, so they're not fully accurate, and there were some stats I couldn't keep track of. Uh, but I had Noga Neve with a team leading 11 kills to go with two aces and one block. Emily Ferdinand with eight kills and half a block. Annika Epstein with seven kills, one ace and one block. Uh, Stasia Budnick with two kills and one and a half blocks. Laurel Zaka with three kills. Charlotte Mullen with three aces and a large number of assists as the team's primary setter, but I can't keep track of assists when I'm, uh, when I'm calling these games, so unfortunately I didn't have that. Uh, Sophie Hester had one kill and two aces. Uh, and Maya Nock and Bella Bacon had one ace each. So those were the stats again, unofficial, that I had last Thursday when Brookline bested number 21 Chumsford at home. Three sets to none, 25-9, 25-22, and 25-12. For anyone who might be uh, watching uh, their first match of high school volleyball. Reminder, this is a best of five sets match, which means first to three sets wins. Each set is first to 25, must win by two. But if we finish tied at two sets to two after four sets, we will go to a fifth set that will be first to 15, win by two.
All right, after the playing of our national anthem, we have the pregame handshakes, and then we will get this one underway. Once again, thank you for tuning in to today's live stream of this high school varsity girls volleyball round of 16 postseason contest between fifth seeded Needham and 12th seeded Brookline. All right, we see the starters coming out for Brookline. I see number 16, Stasia Budnick. Number three, Noga Neve. Number 17, Charlotte Mullen. Number 14, Annika Epstein. Number nine, Maya Nock. And number 11, Sophie Hester. Presumably one of them will check out in favor of the Libro. Number 31, Bella Bacon, who does come in replacing Epstein. Over on Natick's side, they're going to get the first serve, and it's going to come from number 21, Lizzie Tam. She's out there alongside number one, Izzy Streeper, number 18, Katie Mercer, number 16, Samantha Tam, number 23, Kayla Smith, and uh, one more I'm having a little trouble seeing, but I'll pick it up as we go. There's the whistle from the official, and we're ready to get this one going. Round of 16, here we go. The serve from Tam is an ace. It, Lizzie Tam getting us started with a bang, a perfectly low dropping serve right in the middle of no man's land for an ace to start the match. One nothing Needham. This serve received by Nock, very close to the net and Mullen could not follow it up. Back to back strong serves from Tam. I don't think that second one quite follows under the textbook definition of an ace, but it was still a very strong serve. 2-0 Needham leads. This serve could not be dug out. Three straight service wins, two of them aces for Lizzie Tam. Brookline's receiver starting to play a little closer to the net as they've twice been caught off guard by the low dropping serves. Tam served this time received by Bacon off the ceiling, but Mullen follows it up. Tap over by Neve, dug out by Tam, followed up by Streeper, and now Samantha Tam sends it over. Received by Knock, could not be followed up. Samantha Tam with the first kill of the match. As the Tam sisters getting Needham off to a dominant start for nothing. Lizzie Tam back on serve, this time dug out by Hester, set by Mullen, Neve, the spike deflected, received by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam, Samantha Tam, the spike deflected, and it goes, could not be followed up, another kill for Samantha Tam. Lizzie Tam, the serve received by Bacon, again off the ceiling, set by Mullen, tapped over by Budnick, received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam, pushed over by Mercer, received by Knox, set by Mullen, running spike from Hester! Sophie Hester with Brookline's first point as she gets the kill. As we take a look at the replay, you can see the set, and then Sophie Hester sprinted in from the back line and just perfectly placed that one, almost like a curveball over to the far side for Brookline's first kill. Now on serve for the Warriors will be Charlotte Mullen. Serve received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike, dug out by Hester, but could not be followed up off the net. Yet another kill for Samantha Tam. That is three now for the Needham senior as they lead Brookline six to one here in the opening set. A substitution checks in for Needham number 11, Alex Sikora, as she replaces Kayla Smith. Serve received by Hester, bumped up by Mullen and bumped over by Laurel Zaka, who's checked in. Received by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Tap over, received by Mullen, 
Bumped up by Bacon. Neve whiffed on the spike. That looks like one of those situations where she got caught trying to decide whether to go for a full spike or a roll shot and just kind of whiffed as a result. Timeout called by Brookline. A good time for Coach Soboleski to call a timeout as Needham has gotten off to a hot start leading 7-1. to one. And Brookline has got to calm down and recenter themselves if they want to get back in this first set. We got our first note in the live chat from Mariah Nobrega, a simple Go Warriors. Thanks for tuning in, no, uh, thanks for tuning in, Mariah. Remember, if anyone else has anything they'd like to say, I encourage you to say it in the live chat. Samantha Tam on serve for Needham out of the timeout. She's already got three kills. This serve misses long. So Brookline catches a bit of a break out of the timeout. Now Noga Neve on serve. Her serve received by Streeper, very close to the net, and it did not get over. That's going to be an ace for Noga Neve. It was almost a kill for Emily Ferdinand, but it didn't quite have the distance to get back. This serve received cleanly, set by Lizzie Tam. The spike is killed by number 11, Alexa Sikora. Her first of the match, and Needham goes up eight to three. Couple substitutions check in. One of them going to serve. That's number 20, Rachel Doherty. Doherty's serve flies long. Back-to-back -back service errors for Needham, and Brookline has got to take advantage of the opportunities they're being given here. Bella Bacon now on serve for the Warriors. Serve received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Spike Sakura deflected and could not be found. It looks like the Brookline blockers have done a good job slowing down the speed of that spike, but just spun off their hands to a spot the receiver wasn't expecting. And Sakura gets her second kill of the match. Now on serve number 19, Mary Carr. Off the net court for an ace. First ace of the day for Mary Carr as Needham now leads 10-4. This serve received by Neve, set by Mullen. Zaka taps it over, dug out by Streeper, followed up by Carr, spiked over, received by Nock, barely sent over on two by Mullen, received by Lizzie Tam, bumped by Streeper. Long spike from Samantha Tam, received, set by Mullen, tap over by Epstein, but received well by Sakura, set by Lizzie Tam, spike Sakura, and Sakura drops it in for her third kill. Eleven to four. Serve Carr received by Neve, set by Mullen. Ferdinand the spike deflected, and Carr could not follow it up. First kill of the day for Emily Ferdinand. As Brookline makes it eleven to five. Now on serve number nine, Maya Knock. Knox serve, received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Spike Sakura received by Neve, set by, sent over on two by Mullen, but dug out by Lizzie Tam, bumped up by Straper. Spike again, Sakura received by Bacon, off the ceiling, tracked down by Mullen. Spike Ferdinand, Ferdinand gets it again. Good efforts all around from Brookline, making that happen. The receive from Mullen, good track down off the ceiling by Charlotte Mullen. Uh, as it was Bacon who tracked down the first hit, excuse me, and then Ferdinand 
with her second kill. Serve knock, received by Samantha Tam, set Lizzie Tam. Sikora goes up for the spike, received by Ferdinand, but off the ceiling. Four kills now for Alex Sikora. Needham back on serve, they lead by six. Number 23, Kayla Smith back into the game and taking the serve. Serve off the net court, but dug out by Neve. Set by Mullen, Epstein spike. Oh no, she touched the net. Needham gets the point off the violation, 13 to six. Smith the serve, received by Bacon, bumped by Neve, tap over by Ferdinand, received awkwardly by Lizzie Tam, chased down by Smith, bumped over by Streeper, received by Nock, bumped up by Mullen, long roll shot by Neve off the net court, received by Lizzie Tam, followed up by Streeper, Samantha Tam, a powerful spike for a kill. Fourth kill of the day for Samantha Tam, and how about the younger Tam sister, Lizzie, Tracking that one off the net cord. Not just an effective setter, but also she's had a couple of nice uh, hit receives. Smith serve, received by Bacon, set by Mullen, and just not bumped over. A little bit of confusion between Epstein and Ferdinand over who was gonna take that one. And Ferdinand tried to bump it over with almost no angle, and it kind of went off of a little uh, divider that's up there on the ceiling. Serve, received by Neve, chased down by Mullen, bumped over by Nock, received by Streeper, set Lizzie Tam, tap over around the middle is good for a kill from number, I, I wanna say three, yes, number three, Emma Nolfi with her first kill. As a timeout is called, Needham leads Brookline 16 to six here in the first set. Unofficial stats I have so far for Brookline. I have two kills from Emily Ferdinand, one kill from Sophie Hester, and one ace from Noga Neve. And for Needham, four kills each from Alex Sikora and Samantha Tam, two aces from Lizzie Tam, one ace from Mary Carr, and one kill from Emma Nolfi. Again, these are all unofficial stats. You know, uh, both aces and kills can be, you know, uh, sort of a judgment call sometimes over whether or not a play qualifies, but either way, a strong start for Needham. Some more notes in live chat from Wayne Chai. Go Warriors, show them what you got. Always be the last to break. And go Emily, referring to Emily Ferdinand. But Brookline in a bit of a hole here, down 10 in the first set. Smith serve, received by Neve, bumped up by Nock and bumped over by Neve, received by Carr, set Lizzie Tam, Nolfi taps it over, received by Nock, set by Mullen, Ferdinand the spike, good kill, Emily Ferdinand, her third. She sent that one deeper than she sent her first couple of kills. Always good to see a hitter mixing up their spots to throw the defense off balance. Hester the serve, received by Streeper, set Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam taps it down. A set close to the net, but Samantha Tam with perfect judgment there and great control as she went for kind of a hard tap down the line. That was just too difficult for Brookline to receive. That is her fifth kill of the match thus far. Izzy Streeper now on serve. And off the net cord for an ace. That's, that's one of those serves where it's like, there's not much you can do about that. 18 to seven. Serve received by Nock, set by Mullen. Deep spike Hester received by Streeper. Set by Lizzie Tam, spike Samantha Tam, sails long. 
Samantha Tam has been hitting everything, but that time sends it long. 18 to eight the score. Annika Epstein now on serve for the Warriors. And her serve misses wide. 19 to eight as Epstein checks out for Bella Bacon. Now Lizzie Tam back on serve. Serve received by Bacon, set by Mullen. Spike Neve blocks wide. Noga Neve with her first kill of the match. She had 11 last Thursday to lead the team, and now she has her first. Serve Mullen received by Samantha Tam, set Lizzie Tam. Spike could not be blocked. That is a kill for number 15, Claire Smith. Couple subs on both sides. We got a new player checking in for Brookline for the first time, number 10, Serena Oyama. Serve Samantha Tam, received by Bacon, set by Mullen, but the set off the mark. Was trying to set something up on the right side for Neve, but just went to the wrong spot, and now Mullen is going to check out for number 21, Isabella Wong. Serve off the net court, diving dig by Hester, set by Wong, Spike Neve blocked. The block from number 15, Claire Smith. Twenty-two to nine. Serve received by Hester, set by Wong. Zaka, the running spike blocked, but Zaka recovers, followed up by Bacon, bumped over by Oyama, goes wide. Back-to-back -back blocks for Needham, so even though Brookline setting up spikes a little more consistently, they're not getting them past the blockers. Serve received by Bacon, set Wong. Long spike Bacon, received by Lizzie Tam, bumped by Streeper. Spike Sikora, another kill for Alex Sikora. That is her fifth. 24 to nine, Needham leads Brookline. They are on set point. Samantha Tam still on serve. Serve received by Hester, set by Wong. Spike Neve for a kill. Noka Neve with her second kill thus far, this time coming from the right side. 24 to 10, it is still set point Needham. Neve's serve, received by Streeper. Tam tries to keep it alive, it's bumped over by Sakura. received by Neve, set by Wong. Ferdinand sends it down the line, diving dig by Lizzie Tam. Followed up by Streeper, roll shot Sakura. received by Neve, set by Wong, and Zaka whiffs on the spike, and that will end it. 25 to 10, Needham takes the first set. The Rockets showing exactly why they are the fifth seed in this tournament as they just really cruised in all aspects in that first set. Unofficial stats through the first set. I had Samantha Tam and Alex Sikora with five kills each. Uh, I had Claire Smith with one kill and one block. Lizzie Tam with two aces. Mary Carr and Izzy Streeper with one ace each and one kill from Emma Nolfi. For Brookline, I had Noga, uh, I had Emily Ferdinand with three kills, Noga Neve with two kills and one ace. 
and I had Sophie Hester with one kill. So Brookline looking a little, a little out of sorts there. And to me, if there's one thing I'd be emphasizing if I were the coach, and obviously I'm not, obviously I don't know the game as well as the coaches or the players, but if I were, uh, just as a layman's observing, if I were to emphasize one thing for Brookline, it would definitely be service receives. Because a lot of times the powerful serves from the Rockets or sometimes just serves with unexpected placement or spin are just kind of putting Brookline on their heels. I mean, you saw throughout much of that set, Brookline was uh, receiving serves deep in their end, and the receives weren't getting them closer to the net, so the setter has to do a lot more work on that second hit to try and get the hitters into a spot where they can send it over, and a lot of times they weren't able to do that, so Brookline was having to send over these long spikes without nearly as much power and far less likely to get a kill, which allowed Needham to just uh, more easily receive their spikes and then just go on the counterattack because their receives were all moving them uh, ever closer to the net. And they were doing a fantastic job setting up their hitters near the net for spikes. So one set to none, Needham leads after taking the first set 25 to 10. Another note in the live chat from Wayne Chai. Fight hard to the end, Warriors. Keep going, don't give up. Good message, Wayne. And honestly, that's one of the unique things about volleyball as a sport is that even if you get blown out in the first set, it completely restarts at zero. It's a whole new set and you can bring it. We saw how Chumsford responded in the second set against Brookline last Thursday after getting dominated. Let's see what Brookline can do here. As the first serve is sent over on one, received by Bacon, set by Mullen. Spike and a dug out by Smith, followed up by Carr, and bumped over by Smith off the ceiling. Received by Bacon, set by Mullen, Spike Budnick on the line. Brookline looked much better in that sequence than they did for pretty much that entire first set. Great way to start the second set for the Warriors. Serve Mullen, received by Samantha Tam. Chased down somehow by Claire Smith and it goes over. Received by Neve, set by Mullen. Zaka the spike, received by Carr. Sent over on two by Tam. Slightly blocked, chased down by Zaka. Sent over somehow by Mullen. That might be the weirdest kill I have ever seen in volleyball. How on earth did she, one, get that over, and two, get the point off of that? That was crazy. Serve received by Smith, sent down on one by Budnick. Boy, it really feels like just two different teams came out of that break between sets. Great touch by Stasia Budnick for her second kill in the last three points. Serve Mullen. Could not be received. That's an ace for Charlotte Mullen. Brookline has won four straight points to start. This serve long. So Charlotte Mullen and Stasia Budnick combined for four offensive points to start this second set. And off the faulty serve, Needham takes over. Lizzie Tam on serve, four to one, the Brookline lead here in set number two. This serve is long.
Brookline goes right back on serve. This is Neve as Ferdinand checks in, replacing Hester. A uh, brief pause, checking in with the scores table. <laughs> Serve Neve, received by Smith, set Tam, spikes Claire Smith, received by Bacon, set by Budnick, roll shot by Ferdinand, received by Streeper, set Lizzie Tam, uh, roll shot Samantha Tam, Kept alive just barely, and Mullen bumps it over. Received by Lizzie Tam, bumped by Streeper. Very close to that, tapped down, but received by Mullen. Followed up by Bacon. Ferdinand, the spike, received by Lizzie Tam. Bumped by Streeper. Samantha Tam, the spike. Did not go over. A wild rally ends with the erroneous spike, and Brookline takes a 6-1 lead. How about the hustle? particularly from Mullen and Ferdinand on that play very close to the floor. Serve Neve off the net cord, an ace. Seven to one as Noga Neve collects her second ace of the day. The serve into the net, oops. Bumped my camera a bit, apologies. The service error gives Needham their second point. Seven to two is the Brookline lead. Samantha Tam on serve. Serve goes wide. So Needham has had two tries at serve. So far this set, they've missed both of them on the first serve and giving it right back to Brookline. And so far, Brookline taking advantage. They're up 8-2. Bacon serve, received by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Long spike is good from Mercer. Katie Mercer with her first kill of the day. And that is Needham's first point of this set to not come off a of Brookline service error. Now on serve is Doherty. And Doherty sends it right into the net. Needham is 0 for 3 on serves to start this set. And you can see just how important it is to be able to just get your serves in. Because you can't, the, the game is designed, you cannot string a bunch of points together unless you're on serve. So now serving for Brookline, number nine, Maya Nock. Nock serve, received by Streeper. Set Lizzie Tam. Spike Sikora for a kill. Alex Sikora back in business with her sixth kill of the match so far. Now checking in is Mary Carr to serve for the Rockets. Serve received by Bacon, set by Mullen. Ferdinand, the spike, just long. Serve, received by Nock, set Mullen, long roll shot, Neve, dug out by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam, Sakura spikes it over, dug out by Neve, set by Mullen, sent over on the roll shot, the top spin from Emily Ferdinand. Look at the spin she puts on this one for her fourth kill of the match. It's like the kind of spin you put on a ping pong ball. 10 to five, Brookline leads. Yeah. 
Serve Hester, received by Carr. Sent over on two by Lizzie Tam, but received by Bacon. Set by Mullen. Punched over by Neve. Deflected and taken by Carr. Set by Lizzie Tam. Spike Sakura blocked back. Sakura recovers. Set by Lizzie Tam. Sakura again. Misses wide. Eleven to five, the Brookline lead. Hester's serve received by Streeper off the ceiling. Followed up by Lizzie Tam. Long spike Sakura received by Neve. Bumped by Mullen. Long spike Hester into the net. That one was a bit tough. The initial receive came very close to the net, and so Mullen ended up bumping it backwards, and it was a long spike for Hester. Now on serve is Kayla Smith. Received by Bacon, set by Mullen. Spike Neve, dug out by Streeper, chased down by Lizzie Tam, bumped over by Carr, received by Bacon, set Mullen, tap over by Epstein, received by Lizzie Tam, bumped up by Streeper. Samantha Tam, the spike blocked. Samantha Tam, chased it down, recovers, and somehow punches it over, deflected and taken by Knock. Set by Mullen, running spike, Hester, received by Streeper, off the ceiling, taken by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike, deflected, taken by Bacon, off the ceiling, and they can't keep it alive. Boy, how about that for a rally? No matter whether your team got that point or not, I mean, this is a thrilling match so far. Kayla Smith, the serve, taken by Bacon, very close, sent over on two by Mullen, received by Carr, bumped up by Lizzie Tam, Samantha Tam, the long spike, deflected, goes off the hand of Neve. That'll be kill number six for Samantha Tam. Just a bit of miscommunication. Neve didn't realize she had a teammate behind her that was ready to take that one. And so she was, she was just trying to get the ball. Kayla Smith, the serve, dug out by Bacon, followed up by Mullen, bumped over by Knock, received by Streeper, set by Tam. Spike deflected and sent back over on two by Mullen. Received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike deflected, taken by Bacon. Set by Mullen, running spike, Hester sails. Those running spikes from distance, they can catch an opponent off guard because you don't expect a hard spike to come from that distance, but they can also be really difficult to pull off precisely. Kayla Smith, serve received by Hester. Followed up by Mullen. Hester, another running spike. Sends it down the line. Just wide. Needham has fought their way back to a one-point deficit. Brookline, they've had a few critical misses and miscommunications on a few, uh, on a few rallies that have just proved costly. Kayla Smith serve, taken by Bacon, oh, and it goes wide. Count that as a set tying ace for Kayla Smith. That serve almost went back on one by Bacon, but went wide. 11 all. Smith serve, taken by Bacon, set by Mullen. Neve the spike, dug out by Streeper, followed up by Lizzie Tam. Spike down the line, Samantha Tam missed wide. Annika Epstein now on serve for Brookline. They lead Needham by just one. Serve taken by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam the spike, the power on that one. Ties us back up at 12. Seven kills so far for Samantha Tam. Streeper now on serve for the Rockets. Serve received by Hester, set by Mullen. Spike Neve! They're trading haymakers out here in Needham. Noga Neve with her third kill of the match so far. 
13 to 12, Brookline leads. Charlotte Mullen on serve. And her serve sails long. I mean, we saw with Needham in the early portions of the set, you know, teams at this level will make you pay if you keep making service mistakes. Can't be giving your opponent free points like that. All tied up at 13, Lizzie Tam on serve. Serve received by Bacon, set by Mullen. Pushed over by Neve, received by Mercer, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike. Good for another kill. You know, one thing that's not talked about much is the body control required when you're that close to the net. Samantha Tam came very close to touching the net on that spike, but she managed to make that hit legally despite how close she was and still make it as powerful as it was for her eighth kill. Lizzie Tam serve taken by Bacon, set by Mullen, punched over off the net court by Neve. <laughs> Noga Neve starting to find her rhythm here. That one, a bit of a lucky deflection off the net court for her fourth kill. 14 all, Neve's serve, received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam flies, deflected, taken by Neve, followed up by Bacon. Spike Ferdinand, deflected, chased down by Lizzie Tam, could not be properly followed up. Might not technically qualify for a kill on that one, but still a good hit from a weird angle by Emily Ferdinand, manages to get the point. Serve into the net from Neve. Neither team has had a lead greater than one since back when it was 11 to nine. I love watching Bay State Conference teams face off because you know they're gonna bring it against each other. Samantha Tam the serve taken by Ferdinand and that's an ace for Tam. First ace of the day for Samantha Tam. Needham now on top, 16 to 15. Serve taken by Bacon. Set Mullen, long spike, Neve, received by Samantha Tam, bumped up by Lizzie Tam. Sakura the spike, received and sent over on one by Neve. Uh, taken by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam, spike Mercer, blocked by Ferdinand. I think that was Ferdinand at least. Again, these are all unofficial stats I'm taking, so take with that what you will. We're tied at 16. This hit received by Bacon, set by Mullen. Spike Ferdinand received by Streeper, but it's off the ceiling. They couldn't follow it up. Emily Ferdinand stringing some points together for Brookline. That is her team leading fifth kill of the match thus far. Serve Bacon, received by Sakura, set by Lizzie Tam. Mercer, the spike. Oh, that dropped on the back line. Just enough top spin on that roll shot as Katie Mercer gets her second kill to tie us up at 17. That looked for sure like it was gonna go wide. I can't even blame Brookline for making the decision to watch that one. I thought it was going out too, but it just barely dropped on the line. Serve taken by Bacon, set by Mullen. Spike Ferdinand through the blockers for another kill. Make it six kills so far for Emily Ferdinand. 18-17, Brookline leads. A brief huddle. Is this, a, is this an appeal or something? What's going on with... I think Needham was potentially appealing the call on that last point, but 
It does stay with Brookline 18 to 17. This second set coming down to the wire. Knox serve received by Sakura, set by Lizzie Tam. Sakura the spike. Perfectly hit by Alex Sakura to tie us up at 18. Seven kills now for the Needham Jr. Mary Carr now checking in to take the serve for the Rockets. Serve received by Bacon. Could not follow it up. I think it might have been sent down for the kill by Nolfi. Might not have gone over anyway. Might have been a tough hit for Mullen, but she had a chance to hit it. So I am going to give the kill to Emma Nolfi on that one. Serve Carr, received by Bacon, chased down by Mullen, bumped over by Neve, received by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam, spike blocked! Great block there by Annika Epstein. Ties us up at 19. Hester serve, received by Carr, set Lizzie Tam. Sakura, the roll shot, received by Hester, bumped by Mullen. Long spike Hester received by Carr, bumped by Lizzie Tam. Tap over by Sakura, blocked back, but blocked wide. Needham reaches the 20 point threshold first as Sakura collects her eighth kill of the match. Kayla Smith now on serve for the Rockets. Serve on the line. A huge ace for Kayla Smith, her second of the match. And it gives Needham a two point advantage here. Our first multi point advantage we've seen in quite some time. Smith's serve received by Bacon, and it's blocked back, but recovered by Epstein, followed up by Mullen. Roll shot, Epstein. Received by Streeper, set Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike. Received by Hester, but could not be followed up. Three straight points from the Rockets as Samantha Tam collects her ninth kill. 22 to 19. Needham three points away from taking this second set. Brookline three points away from tying it back up. Serve received by Ferdinand. Set by Mullen, Spike Epstein! Annika Epstein answers with her first kill of the match. Twenty-two to twenty. Epstein follows up the kill with the serve. And the serve goes long. 23 to 20, Needham just two points away. Brookline trying to stay on their heels. Streeper on serve for the Rockets. Serve barely dug out by Ferdinand and sent over on one. Taken by Carr, set Lizzie Tam. Spike Claire Smith dug out by Bacon, punched over on two by Neve. Received by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike deflected. Somehow hit by Nock, followed up by Ferdinand. Bumped over by Budnick, received by Carr. Bumped by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the long spike, received by Neve. Chased down by Mullen. Neve pushes it over, taken by Carr, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam again, taps it over. Dug out by Knox, sent over on one, tapped back by Samantha Tam, received by Knox again, set by Mullen, bumped over by Neve, received by Carr, set by Lizzie Tam. Claire Smith, the spike deflected, taken by Mullen, bumped by Bacon, long spike Neve, received by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Spike Tam, Samantha Tam, received and sent over on one by Ferdinand, set back on one by Claire Smith, taken by Knox, set by Mullen, roll shot by 
Ferdinand taken by Carr, set Lizzie Tam, Samantha Tam the spike, somehow received by Ferdinand, sent over by Neve! What was that? Insanity! What a dig by Emily Ferdinand, and then Noga Neve somehow collects her fifth kill. 23-21, the entire crowd giving both teams the applause. What a rally. Mullen the serve, received by Kayla Smith, bumped up by Lizzie Tam, punched over by Samantha Tam. They couldn't block that one that time. Samantha Tam with her 10th kill of the match so far. It is set point for Needham, 24-21. Lizzie Tam on serve. Serve received by Bacon, not properly received. Lizzie Tam ends it with the ace. The sophomore setter's third ace of the match secures set number two for the Rockets, 25 to 21. Brookline gave them a heck of a fight, but ultimately Needham does prevail and they go up two sets to none. They are one set away from taking this match in straight sets. So at this time, I'd like to take a moment for a local charity spotlight. I'd like to tell you about the Brookline Community Foundation. For over 100 years, the Brookline Community Foundation has been a trusted partner, uh, supporting Brookline by investing in organizations and initiatives that help create opportunity and promote equity for everyone who lives, learns, works, and plays in our community. Among the foundation's many grant programs is the BCF Scholarship Fund for Brookline High School, which provides graduating BHS students with scholarships to help fund post-secondary education. To date, thanks to the generosity of over 140 donors, BCF has raised over $1.4 million in scholarship funding as the scholarship approaches its 10th anniversary. And just last year for the graduating class of 2023, over $180,000 were awarded to Brookline High School for scholarships. Your support is crucial to supporting Brookline youth as they embark on the next steps in their educational journeys. Visit brooklinecommunity.org or call 617-566-4442 to learn more about the BCF Scholarship Fund for Brookline High School and how you can make a difference right here in Brookline. Once again, brooklinecommunity.org or call 617-566-4442. Uh, and remember, you can find all that same information, link, and phone number for the Brookline Community Foundation in the description section of this video down below. And you can also find a link to the official Venmo account for the Brookline High Girls Volleyball Booster Club if you would like to help financially support the team as they continue to build and grow. Two sets to none, Needham leads. Having won the first two sets, 25-10 and 25-21, Brookline looked much better in that second set, but they can't let, they can't let losing that set kill that momentum. They have to be able to come back strong in this third set again if they want to keep their season alive. Needham one set away from advancing to the quarterfinals. Brookline one set away from their season potentially coming to an end. 
Lizzie Tam starting us off, and she sends it into the net. Brooke Klein takes the one nothing lead to start. Charlotte Mullen going on serve for the Warriors. Serve received by Kayla Smith, set by Lizzie Tam. Spike Samantha Tam blocked. The block from Stasia Budnick. As always with the block calls, I'm kind of guessing because there's always two players that uh, attempt for the block and it's just anyone's guess exactly whose hand it hits when you're looking from this far. Serve received by Kayla Smith, set Lizzie Tam, by Claire Smith. Claire Smith with Needham's first point of this third set. That is her second kill of the match thus far. Two to one, Samantha Tam on serve. Serve received by Bacon, followed up by Ferdinand, bumped over by number five, Molly Tipton. This spike received by Mullen and it's off the ceiling as Katie Mercer gets the kill, third kill of the match thus far. All tied up at two. Samantha Tam serve taken by Ferdinand, bumped up by Mullen, bumped over by Tipton. Received, set by Lizzie Tam. Smith taps it over, dug out and sent over on one by Mullen. Received by Lizzie Tam, bumped up by Streeper, running spike. Samantha Tam sails long. So Brookline with a three to two lead. Early in this one, Noga Neve on serve for the Warriors. And her serve goes into the net. All tied up at three. Now coming back into serve is Rachel Doherty. Serve sails. Back-to-back -back service errors, and it goes back to Brookline with a one-point lead. Bacon serve, sails long. Three straight service errors. Have us tied at four apiece. Serve from Mary Carr. No, nobody wants to stay on serve in this set. Four straight service errors back to back to back to back. Now Knock checks back in for Brookline. That serve missed. Five straight missed serves between these two teams. Kayla Smith, this serve was in. Received by Bacon, followed up by Mullen Long. Spike Neve, received by Streeper. Set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike for the kill. 11 kills so far for Samantha Tam. Kayla Smith, the serve, goes for an ace. Kayla Smith has firmly broken the streak of service errors and has now collected her third ace of the match.
The serve into the net. I, I jinxed her. Seven to six, Needham leads. Emily Ferdinand on serve for the Warriors. Serve received, not well. An ace for Emily Ferdinand. Ferdinand, her first ace of the match. And then one sails wide. Eight to seven, the Needham advantage. Streeper now going on serve for the Rockets. Streeper serve misses. This has been just a funky match, uh, a funky set, I should say. This third set, it feels like both teams are kind of just in a funk in terms of serves. And we've got another new player checking in for Brookline to take this serve. On the court for the first time, number four, Cora Nobrega. Serve taken by Kayla Smith, set by Lizzie Tam. Long spike from Carr, received by Nobrega, bumped by Mullen, bumped over by Ferdinand, received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam taps it, missed it wide. It seemed like Brookline's miscommunication on that third hit was going to come back to bite them, but then Samantha Tam with a rare miss. Oops, put that point the wrong way. But then the serve missed, so back to nine apiece. Like I said, this everybody's been in a funk this third set. It's it's been it's been a weird one. Nine all. Lizzie Tam serve, received by Ferdinand over on one. Received, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the roll shot, taken by Ferdinand, set by Mullen, long spike Ferdinand, received by Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Bumped over by Claire Smith, taken by Ferdinand, set by Mullen. Neve the spike, deflected, dug out by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam the spike, taken by Bacon, set by Mullen. Long roll shot, knock. Taken by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Mercer, the spike off the net court and drops on the line. Katie Mercer just has a knack for hitting it exactly on the line. Just to make all the fans sweat it out before they see the official call. That is her fourth kill of the match so far. Needham goes up 10 to nine. Lizzie Tam, the serve, received by Bacon, set by Mullen, pushed over by Ferdinand, taken by uh, Samantha Tam, set by Lizzie Tam. Samantha Tam, the spike, another kill for Samantha Tam. 12 kills now for the Needham senior. Wait. Wait, what's... Wait. Wait, what's happening? Did the point go to Brookline? Is it 10 to 10? What's happening? What's the score right now? Is it 11 to nine Needham or is it 10 to 10? Because it looks like Brookline's about to serve, which would suggest that they got the point, which would make it 10 to 10 but the scoreboard still shows 11 to nine. So I'm confused. It looks like the scorer's table is confused. I'm sure some of the fans are confused. Maybe even some of the players are confused. There's a lot of confusion going on.
Boy, where's the Jeopardy music when you need it? Okay, so they've just put Needham back at 10. So Needham did not get that point, so that was not Tam's 12th kill of the match. So did Brookline get the point, or is this a mulligan? I think this might just be a mulligan. Yeah, they're just redoing the point. It's 10 to 9 still. Serve from Mullen, received by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam, spike Samantha Tam. This time it counts. So this time, Samantha Tam registers her 12th kill of the match, and this time, Needham goes up 11 to 9. Samantha Tam, the serve, received by Bacon, could not be followed up. I think we can call that one an ace, the second one of the day for Samantha Tam. 12 to 9, Needham now leads. This serve received by Bacon, bumped up by Tipton, punched over by Neve, received by Samantha Tam, followed up by Streeper, roll shot Sakura, received by Bacon, somehow kept alive by Mullen, but not actually alive, not legally. Almost managed to get a second hit off on that one, but not quite. 13 to nine, the Rockets now lead. Serve, received by Ferdinand off the ceiling, taken by Mullen, spike tipped and blocked by Claire Smith. Second block of the day for the Needham senior and a timeout is called. Needham having scored, I believe, five straight points after things were very close through much of this third set. Uh, we got a question in the live chat from Kelly Soboleski. What's happening? Uh, just tuning in now. Uh, well, Kelly, to recap, uh, Needham took the first set in pretty dominant fashion, 25 to 10. The second set, very close. We had a long string of points where neither team could take a lead uh, bigger than one, but then ultimately Needham finished the job 25 to 21. And so Needham is now up two sets to none. If they take one more set, they win the match and advance to the round of eight. If Brookline manages to come back and win this third set, then we move to a fourth set. And Needham currently leads 14 to nine. And as for, and if you were asking specifically about that long stretch of time where we couldn't figure out what the score was, I think what happened is there was uh, something wrong with the procedure before they even started the point, so the point itself didn't count, and that's why they reset the score from 11 to 9 down to 10 to 9. And now here we are with Needham leading 14 to 9. Samantha Tam still on serve for Needham. Tam served, dug out by Ferdinand, followed up by Neve, pushed over by Tipton, received by Lizzie Tam, goes over on one, received by Mullen, bumped by Tipton, bumped over by Budnick, received by Samantha Tam, bumped by Lizzie Tam, long roll shot Samantha Tam, received by Mullen, followed up by Bacon, bumped over by Tipton, taken by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam, Spike Sakura, deflected and taken by Ferdinand, Bumped by Mullen, Spike Tipton. Molly Tipton with her first kill. Molly Tipton, the freshman right side hitter with her first career playoff kill. Neve serve, taken by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Tap over Sakura, could not be dug out. Mullen tried to react to it, but it just went off the side of her hands, and Sakura collects her ninth kill of the match thus far. 15 to 10, the Rockets lead. Doherty on serve. Serve taken by Bacon, set by Mullen. Spike Ferdinand 
down the line for the kill. Emily Ferdinand, the Brookline sophomore, now with seven kills. She leads the team. Bacon now on serve. Serve received by Samantha Tam. Barely followed up by Lizzie Tam and bumped over by Streeper. Taken by Bacon. Set by Mullen. Tap over Epstein. Received by Sakura. Followed up by Lizzie Tam. Pushed over by Mercer. Received by Neve. Set by Mullen. Tap over Epstein. Deflected and somehow chased down by Samantha Tam. Bumped over by Sakura. Received by Bacon. Set by Mullen. Now Ferdinand flies. And Ferdinand lands. Emily Ferdinand with two straight kills. She's now got eight today. 15 to 12. Bacon the serve, received by Streeper. Very close, tapped down by Epstein, but somehow dug out by Lizzie Tam. Sent over, received by Mullen, bumped by Bacon. Long spike Neve, taken by Lizzie Tam. Bumped up by Streeper. Mercer punches it over, taken by Neve, sit by Mullen, Spike Epstein deflected, taken by Samantha Tam, chased down by Lizzie Tam. Roll shot by Sakura, deflected, taken by Bacon, set by Mullen, Spike Ferdinand blocked. <laughs> Katie Mercer with the block. That might be the most authoritative block we've seen out of all of them so far today. It was a powerful spike, which can lead to just as powerful a block. 16 to 12, Needham now leads. <coughs> Excuse me. Carr on serve. Taken by Ferdinand off the ceiling, but Mullen chases it down. Spike Ferdinand! <laughs> Emily Ferdinand finding her fire as that's her ninth kill of the match. Even a bit of a distance away from the net. Just a great shot from the Brookline sophomore. 16-13. Knox serve. Received by Streeper. Bumped up by Lizzie Tam. Spike Sakura blocks back. They kept it uh, not quite alive. I think that was Annika Epstein. I think we can call that one a block. I failed to get the replay, and that's on me, but 16 to 14. Knox serve. Received by Streeper. Sent over on two by Lizzie Tam, but dug out by Knox. Set by Mullen. Tap over by Epstein. Somehow chased down by Lizzie Tam. Followed up by Streeper. Long roll shot, Samantha Tam. Received by Bacon. Bumped by Mullen way back, and Neve just has to bump it over. Taken by Streeper. Set by Lizzie Tam. Spike out of the middle. It's received by Neve. Set by Mullen. Tap over by Ferdinand. Dug out by Carr. Bumped up by Lizzie Tam. Punched over by Samantha Tam. Taken by Knox. Set by Mullen. Ferdinand, the spike blocked. Recovered by Mullen. Sent back down. Received by Knock. Bumped by Mullen. Ferdinand tries again and sails it. Another wild rally. Hats off to Brookline for staying in that as long as they did. But ne the pressure from Needham's blockers was intense throughout that point, And I think it caused Ferdinand to kind of overcorrect on her spike, sending it long. Seventeen to fourteen, and I think Needham has made a call for uh, some paper towels to wipe down part of the hardwood. Can I just say how awesome it is that we got over fifty concurrent viewers tuning in to watch this? You know, I mean, I know volleyball isn't the most mainstream of sports, and this isn't like a final four match; it's around a sixteen, but. I love the amount of support that both the Brookline and Needham communities have for this sport. It's beautiful. Serve is long from Kayla Smith. 17 to 15. Ferdinand now on serve for the Warriors. Serve received by Kayla Smith, set by Lizzie Tam. Spike Samantha Tam. A laser from Samantha Tam. 18 to 15. Tam with 13 kills today. Yeah. 
Streeper on serve. Ferdinand receives awkwardly and they could not chase it down. Izzy Streeper with her second ace of the day. Timeout called by Brookline. Looking at unofficial stats so far, first for Needham, Samantha Tam leading the offense with 13 kills and two aces. Alex Sakura with nine kills. Katie Mercer with four kills and one block. Claire Smith with two kills and two blocks. Lizzie Tam and Kayla Smith with three aces each. Emma Nolfi with two kills. Izzy Streeper with two aces and Mary Carr with one ace. For Brookline, Emily Ferdinand leading the way with nine kills, one ace and one block. Noka Neve with five kills, two aces. Stasia Budnick with two kills and one block. Annika Epstein, one kill, two blocks. Charlotte Mullen, one kill and one ace. Molly Tipton with one kill and Sophie Hester with one kill. Nineteen to fifteen, Needham leads. Streeper back on serve. This serve dug out by Ferdinand, sent over on two by Mullen, but dug out by T uh, Lizzie Tam, followed up by Streeper. Tap over Samantha Tam, deflected, received by Mullen, followed up by Bacon, bumped over by Neve. Received by Carr, set by Lizzie Tam. Claire Smith, the spike, dug out by Bacon. Oh, one of the Brookline players must have, must have reached over and touched the net on their attempt to block as Needham gets the point on the violation and they reach the 20 point threshold. The Rockets five points away from winning the match and moving on to the round of eight. Brookline five points away from tying the set. And miscommunication on the serve as Streeper gets her third ace. Both Epstein and Mullen just stepped back from that one. Both thought the other was going to take it. 21-15. Streeper serve goes off of Knox hands. That that was just a reflexive move. You could tell everyone was thinking, watch it, watch it, but then it came so close to Knox that she probably felt like she had to get her hands on it, otherwise it was going to hit off her body or something. You know, when you see a fast moving object come by, your instinct is to move. 22 to 15, four aces now for Izzy Streeper. That serve into the net. This one is not over yet, but Brookline will need a very strong comeback if they want to even get back in this set. Epstein's serve dug out by Kayla Smith, set by Lizzie Tam. Tap over Samantha Tam, blocked back, sent back, and Budnick whiffed on her attempted hit. It was a strong blocking presence for Brookline, but just kind of whiffed on the hit back there. 23 to 16, Needham two points away. Serve received by Ferdinand, set by Mullen, Spike Budnick. Stasia Budnick. Mark, that is the third kill for the Brookline sophomore middle blocker. 23-17, Mullen on serve. Serve is dug out by Streeper, set by Lizzie Tam. Tap over Samantha Tam is blocked back, but recovered. Kayla Smith chases it down and Streeper sends it into the net. Brookline improving their blocks on that left side. They've had a couple of nice ones. And they're not backing down from this fight. 23 to 18. Mullins serve sails long. 
It is match point for the Rockets. Brookline would need six points to come back and tie this set. Needham one point away from the quarterfinals. Samantha Tam on serve. The serve received by Ferdinand, set by Mullen. S roll shot Hester received by Lizzie Tam. Bumped by Straper, long spike by Samantha Tam, dug out by Ferdinand, set by Mullen. Another spike from Hester. Sophie Hester with the kill. Bit of poetic justice there as the two seniors combine for the kill on that one. As they are here fighting to keep their high school careers alive. The serve from Hester misses wide and that is going to end it. The final score of the third set is 25 to 19. The final score of the match, the Needham High Rockets three sets, the Brookline High Warriors zero. And a thunderous round of applause from both fan bases here. Great support shown for both programs, both here at the gym and all around from you guys tuning in and watching. Like I said, I love how much the towns of Brookline and Needham support volleyball. It may not be the most popular sport that people watch on television, but it's a growing sport and these are two towns that are really helping it grow in the state that first created this sport, fun fact, as it was first created in Holyoke. Final set scores, Needham took all three, 25 to 10, 25 to 21, and 25 to 19. Final unofficial stats on the day for Needham, Samantha Tam led the way. 13 kills, two aces. Alex Sikora with nine kills. Katie Mercer, four kills, one block. Izzy Streeper, a team leading four aces, including three right there down that final stretch of the third set. Claire Smith, two kills, two blocks. Lizzie Tam and Kayla Smith with three aces each. Emma Nolfi with two kills, and Mary Carr with one ace. For Brookline, final unofficial stats. Emily Ferdinand, nine kills, one ace, one block. Noken of A, five kills, two aces. Stasia Budnick, three kills, one block. Annika Epstein, one kill, two blocks. Sophie Hester, two kills. Charlotte Mullen, one kill, one ace, and a number of assists I was uh, unable to record. And Molly Tipton with one kill. And like I said, I think it's a little poetic that the last point Brookline scored for this season came from two of their seniors, Sophie Hester with the kill and Charlotte Mullen with the assist. You know, those were two players that the first, the first year I ever covered this team in that weird fall two season uh, back in what was uh, the, a spot in between the winter and spring seasons back in 2021, Hester and Mullen were both freshmen back then. And, you know, to see how far this program has come since then, to, just to be able to be back and cover this team again, as I wasn't able to cover it the past couple of years and got the chance to do so again this postseason. I hope uh, this is the start of plenty more Brookline High girls volleyball games for me to cover in the future. But, you know, really special for me from a personal point to get to see this senior class of 2024 that I saw as freshmen the last time I covered this team get to finish out their careers strong with what I think was a pretty solid season. Like I said, a 13-7 and regular season finish, 12th seed in the tournament, a sweep win in the round of 32, and they put up a fight here against one of the top five teams in Division I. So I think Brookline can hold their heads up high. And a fond farewell to the Brookline seniors, Sophie Hester, Annika Epstein, and Charlotte Mullen. 
a relatively young Brookline High girls volleyball team. But this senior class, I think, has really set a foundation. You know, there are a lot of young players on this team that show a lot of potential. And I think this team's only going to continue to grow off the foundation that this senior class has set. That's going to do it for this stream. I am Jesse Mayfield Chien. Remember, if you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams, especially this is for both Brookline and Needham fans. On Wednesday, I will be covering Warriors Rockets action again on the soccer pitch as Brookline will be hosting Needham in the round of 16 of the MIAA Division I Girls Soccer Tournament on Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Be sure to stay tuned for that and plenty more. Subscribe to the channel can help. Thank you to all those who brought the good vibes in the live chat today. If there's anything you'd like to say after the live stream is concluded, you can say it in the comment section down below. You can also go down below to the description section of the video where you can find, first off, a link to the official Venmo account uh, for the booster club for Brookline High Girls Volleyball. Below that, you can find a link and phone number for our local charity Spotlight, the Brookline Community Foundation. And further down below that, and also in the bottom right corner of your screen, you can see some more information about me, a link to my personal website, jessesports.com, where you can find out more about me, the freelance sports broadcasting services that I provide to various teams, and how you can commission those services for your favorite team. If you want to skip past all that, you can just email me directly with any questions or requests you may have. And be sure to follow me on Instagram where I post highlights from previous live streams. But for this live stream, that's going to do it. And for this 2023 season for Brookline Girls Volleyball, that's going to do it. Final score, Needham 3, Brookline 0. Set scores 25-10, 25-21, and 25-19. From Needham High School in Needham, Massachusetts, I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night.